Oh, here we are. Okay. Okay, and uh, I am Bert Emanuel, also known as <clears throat> Bob Follett or Robert Follett. Bert is a contraction of Robert and Emanuel, or as we say in Italian, Emanuel is my middle name. Okay, so we'll go by Bert Emanuel because that's what's in the Art Pal um, website. Now, here is mandolin double stops, a painting. Let's see if we can get the whole thing in here. And there it is, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the double stops that are all right here on the fingerboard of the mandolin of this painting, as well as the dots, which are the notes. And so, as explained in the description uh, in the Art Pal website, uh, the dots are the notes, and uh, the uh, such as these two notes, this yellow one and this white one, and they combine together and blend to make a lighter yellow, which is a mixture of the white and the yellow. It's a mixture of these two notes. So now I'm going to go through all these now, and uh, there's going to be a lot of back and forth between the painting and the mandolin. I want you to hear what these actually sound like, and that will enhance the uh, painting. So, let's start down here. We have uh, an open. We have an open E note right here, and that is combining with uh, a B note here, on the second fret of the A string. So these, these two, this yellow open E combines with this blue uh, B note on the second fret of the uh, second string, also known as the A string. And the yellow of the E and the blue of the B combine together to give us a green right here, which Get a little closer to it. Okay, and so that is the blending of those two notes. And let's do now what they sound like. <clears throat> this is a rather thin pick, which is uh, useful for double stops, tremoloing them. So here's the double stop. Here is that B note. We have A, B, and then we have the open E. So the open E is that yellow dot at the top of the uh, picture, and the uh, B is the blue note. I wish I had a third hand. If I had a third hand, I could do this much better. Okay, <clears throat> here's the open E, and here is the B note. The blue B and the yellow E. And so here are those notes. This is the B note. And here's the open E. And we combine them together, and it gives us this double stop, which sounds like this. That's a nice double stop. Okay. So now <clears throat> we move along here and we go over to the third and fourth string and we have a blue open D note here. And this note is an A note. Okay. So we have a D and we have an A. And with a red a and the blue D are going to combine together to give us this purple right here, the purple where they merge together. They become a purple blend of those two notes, the D and the A. And so that would be these two. That's the 
A, and that's the D. They combine together to sound like this. Okay, that's them. Okay, now, moving along here. Over here, we have a B, the same B that we had before, uh, this blue dot here, and this is a G. And so, <clears throat> because we have E, F, F sharp, G. So we're going to combine this B note here, this blue dot, with this red G note. And that is going to give us this double stop, which is right here. Okay, there is the B, there's the G, put them together and they sound like this. All right, so that's three down and a bunch more to go. Okay, now over here we have this E note which is this yellow note right here on the, uh, <clears throat> on the D second fret of the D string. This is an E note. And it combines with this white note here, which is uh, a C note. Okay, so we have an E and a C. And the yellow E combines with the white C and gives us a pale yellow blend of those two. And that is a very nice uh, double stop, which is right here. There's the E note, the yellow E. And here is the, the white C. So put those two together, and we have which actually you can play all, all the, and if you play all the strings together, you get uh, a nice uh, open C chord. It's noisy around here. Oh, yes. It's noisy. <clears throat> they don't hesitate to make noise out of the street out there. Or hot rods or whatever they've got. Okay, now, <clears throat> back to the painting. So, that's four uh, double stops we've done now. Now, this double stop here is... Uh, a quite uh, well sensitive about it. This white note here combining with this red note here. Okay, the red note here is is F sharp, and the white note is C, same C that we just uh, looked at in the last double stop. <clears throat> And so they combine together, the white and the red combine together to give us this, this pink blend right here. Uh, but this double stop uh, is really not a good double stop. I'm not sure if it's actually a double stop at all, frankly. But it's not, it's, it is, it's not a very good one. The only reason why it's in the painting is because sometimes when you do art, you have to make a few concessions and you have to put something in the painting that you didn't really... Uh, mean to ex express intellectually, but it's got to be there in order to uh, complete the fullness of the whole composition. So for composition's sake, this double stop is here, but it doesn't sound very good. And so I'm going to play it anyway and see what it uh, sounds like. You'll see what it sounds like. This may 
this may make your head explode, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. <clears throat> so um, let's see, we have the uh, C note, and then we have an F sharp. And it sounds like this. <laughs> sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? But sometimes you have to make concessions, like I said. So it's right in the middle of the fingerboard, and it just needed to be there in order for everything to be balanced uh, properly. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's go down here, and we have this E note here, this E, um, yellow E note right here, and then we have this, um, let's see, G, A, B note here, okay? We have an E and we have a B. So the white one is the B and the yellow one is the E. Now, let's see what they sound like. I'll bet it's a lot better than the last one. Actually. Okay, so we have uh, this uh, E and we have this uh, B here. It sounds like this. Here is the B. There's the E. The double stop sounds like this. Very nice resonant double stop. Very good harmony between those notes. Okay, <clears throat> so now uh, we have a white and a blue, which these combine together and they give us a light blue. The light blue is the blend of these two notes, which are B, same one we just did, and this one is uh, G. So we have a B and a G, okay? And they go together nicely, I think. Here's the B and there's the G. Oh, yes. This is actually a partial G chord. Here's the G note alone. Here's the B note alone. Here they are together. And that is a very nice double stop, which I always play as the very last note of uh, <clears throat> the classical piece uh, by Johann Sebastian Bach and Christian Petzold, which is minuet number three in G major. And at the very end, I do that. All right, let's see. nice okay I, I like that uh, fits these double stops fit in excellently on any kind of music classical is just one and bluegrass they're fine also here's a, an example of a bunch of double stops you can see you can hear where the uh, single notes are and you can hear where the double stops are because I'm going to tremolo the double stops so you'll definitely hear them uh, but this is the uh, Bluegrass song, Dark Hollow, in the key of D. Sorry, I goofed. Dark Hollow. Tune is a D, and so the last note is D. 
Okay, now, um, <clears throat> so let's see that we did that one. Okay, this one is, uh, let's see, D, E, F sharp, and uh, what do we have here? Um, a, oh, uh, let's, uh, D, let's see, did we just do that one? F sharp and D. They come. No, we didn't do that. One. Okay, this is a red uh, F sharp, and this is a yet yeah, this yellow dot is um, is D. Oh, you know what? They combine together to give us this orange blend right here. You see the orange? That's a blending of the yellow and the red. It's a blending of the D and the F sharp. And that's our blended double stop right there in orange. And uh, guess what? That's the one that I just ended the tune minuet number three uh, by Bach and Petzold. <clears throat> so that's that double stop. So you just heard it. So now this double stop here is C, and it combines with A. So we have, let's see, E, F. G, A, and here we have A, B, C, okay? So the white note is the C, and the blue note here is the, um, um, is the A, okay? So we have C and A for the, and this is what they sound like. <clears throat> here is the C. Here is the A. So here's the C. And here's the A. And here's the double stop of them. Okay. That fits in on a lot of songs and a lot of tunes. In case anybody doesn't know, the difference between a song and a tune be surprised how many people do not know what the difference between a song and a tune is. But <clears throat> a song has words and music. A tune has only music, no words. Okay, now, um, back to our painting here. Uh, so I think we're going to move up to here now. We have a blue and a red, which combine to give us a purple blend in the middle. And these notes are... C, D, E, uh, these are G, and this would be, let's see, D, A, B, C, D. These are G and D, okay, and that's what they are. The red dot is the D, and the blue dot is the G. They combine together to, together to give us this purple double stop. So let's see what they sound like. <clears throat> okay, here is the G, and here is that A, B, C, D note, G and D. And here's the D, and here's the G. Together they give us all right, good. That was a good double stop. I like those double stops on the third and fourth strings. <clears throat> the G and D strings they have a lot of power in them. Okay, so now uh, it looks like we have three of the same type things here. We have um, going from the one, two, three, four, fifth fret and the seventh fret. We have a five and a seven, and we have a five, seven, and we have a five, seven. And they're just on different strings. So this five, seven is the one we just did. And uh, this five, seven goes from the A string to the D string. And as I said, it goes from the fifth to the seventh fret. 
And so we have on the A string, we have this D note. The yellow dot is the D note. And this blue dot on the seventh fret of the D string is an A, I believe. Let's see. D, E, F, E, A. Yes, it's an A. Okay. So we have, uh, oh, we have a D and an A. And they combine together, yellow and blue, combine together to give us this green in the middle, which is what you get when you, when painters <clears throat> combine blue and yellow, we get green. Just like when we combine red and blue, we get purple. When we combine uh, uh, yellow and white, we get a pale yellow. And when we get, when we combine white and red, we get pink. Okay, now, <clears throat> So these two here are, um, uh, what did I say they were? A D and an A, yeah. And so that is these notes, which are the same con uh, finger configuration as the last one, which was this. We just move it over, one, move both over one string, and then we get that. We get the A here, oops, we get this A, and then we get this D. When we combine them together, we get this double stop. Very beautiful double stop, I would think. You have an all solid wood mandolin as this uh, Eastman. Oval Hall Mandolin is a very, very nice double stop uh, tone of an all solid wood <clears throat> instrument. Now, oh, okay. Now we're going to move over one more string, just keep the same configuration of five to seven on the frets. And we're going to move over one more string to the E string and the A string. And so we have here an A note. And on the seventh fret of the D string, we have um, let's see, D, G. Uh, what's going on here? What am I missing? Um, a, B, C, D. We have an E note here. So we have an A note and an E note. Okay. The E note is this white dot, and the A note is this blue dot. They combine together blue and white to give us this light blue, which looks nice in the painting. <clears throat> and so we're doing the 5 7 again here. We did 5 7 like this. We did 5 7 like this. And now this is the one we're doing now, which is the A and the E. That's the double stop. Here's the E. Oh, sorry. Here's the E. Here's the A. Combine together. The double stop sounds like this. All right. And uh, moving along here now. Right straight up the fingerboard. Okay, now we have. Just one, two, three, four double stops left. And this one is uh, D, E, F, G, A. This one is A, the blue A here. And this is uh, A, B, C, D. Let's see. Um, Okay, <clears throat> D, E, F, G, A. Okay, this is the blue dot is an A. And then we have uh, A, B, C. D, A, B, C. D, 
it looks like it's in D sharp. I didn't, I didn't know I had that one in there. Well, anyway, we're going to put those two together and we'll see what the double stop sounds like. Uh, I hope it's not another bad one. It is kind of an oddity. <clears throat> but, uh, let's see, uh, D, E, F, C, A. Okay, we have that one and that. Yeah, that's a bad one. <laughs> That's a bad one too, but it needed to be there for composition purposes. Okay. Now, um, then we have, um, gotta figure this out here. Let's see, uh, A, B, C, D, got a D sharp again. What happened there? A D sharp and a B. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine. So we're going from the eighth to the ninth fret, from yellow to, actually showing the painting. We're going from the eighth to the ninth fret, from yellow to red, combining to give us this orange here. And uh, let's see, uh, sounds like this. That doesn't sound too bad. That's a passable one. Give it a C plus. Okay, <clears throat> so that, uh, then we have this double stop here which goes from this white note here to this red note there. And let me see what frets those are here. Just for a minute. Uh, two, four, six, seven. Okay, we're going from the seventh fret to the ninth fret. And we're going from the A string to the D string, also known as the second string to the third string. <clears throat> and that is these two right here. Okay, red, white, combining to be the pink double stop here. And uh, the notes are, let's see, A, B, C, D. The notes are E is the white note. And um, a D, E, F. A, B is the red note. So we have an E and a B, which should be a good harmony. Harmony should be a good harmonizing between those two. Um, let's see. I said two, four, five, seven, nine, and that's these two here. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful double stop right there. Okay, that's a very nice double stop between the uh, two notes of those. And B. Okay, now for the last one, we're going to take this one that we did earlier, this G, and we're going to move it up to here. And so we have G, A, B. This is C. G, A, B, C. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. This was our G here, this red dot. So now we're going to go G. A, B, C. And that's going to combine with this white note here, which is D, C. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not done until I'm going back to D sharp again. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> A, A, B, C, 
D E. That's an E. Okay. So this is an E. And this one is a D. So we have an E and a D, and those will sound good. Of course they will, because they're the same double stop as what we had before with this G. And it's going to move it up five frets. So we have G, A, D, G, A, C. Two, four, Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. G, A, D, C. Okay. And here they are. Okay, here's the C. And here's the E. And so that completes them, and that is all the double stops in the painting. And so now you can not only see the double stops, you can hear them. And you have the blending of them, as in this white and this red blending into pink, and uh, this yellow and this blue blending into green, and uh, the uh, red and the blue blending into purple. So you now not only have the uh, visual aspect of the blending of these double stops, you now can actually hear them as well. And uh, that completes this video. And I uh, hope you like it.